All right, Coach, coming into the NCAA Championships this weekend, how does competing in a conference like the Big Ten get you ready for the NCAA Championships? Uh, I, I think it's a, it's a good preparation a couple of weeks before the NCAA. I mean, it's basically uh, it's like a re rehearsal for, for us. And we went to the Big Ten. We got fourth place. We had some not uh, major mistakes. So we went home. We tried to... Uh, you know, fix those problems, and yeah, yeah we go. We're here. <laughs> and then uh, your roster is a very young roster, but how has the group of upperclassmen helped this young group come along this season? Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, this year we um, kind of uh, battle with uh, a lot of injuries and so, so some of the younger guys and, and some of the older guys. But I think team got to, together, uh, some younger guys step up, you know, even some of the older guys, you know, sophomore and, and, and the juniors, and that they step up. And uh, I think that right now we just as best as we can be, you know. And then you guys are, are among the top scorers on every event as a team this year. How has your team been able to put together such a, a steady performance on each event this year? No, I, I wouldn't say that's on every event. I, I believe we're in the top three on the – uh, uh, flow exercise, pommel horse, and uh, I believe vault, and uh, other other events like uh, rings, PP bars, and e even the, the high bar. I, I would say we we um, probably in the top six or seventh, but uh, I think overall we uh, the team who probably can be in the top six. And then uh, one guy that sticks out is uh, Michael Newberger on the pommel horse. Talk about uh, his steady performance this year on that apparatus. Uh, you know, Mike uh, actually come along th 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 this year and, and he improved a lot. You know, he uh, won the uh, Winter Cup um, this year. So then, uh, you know, he, he, he had the, the, the little bit d d down time and I, I think that r right now he's picking back. So we, we, we're hoping that uh, with his performance and some other key guys on the pommel horse, um, that's our key event. You know, we, we're hoping that our uh, guys can hit the pommel horse and we're going to be on, on the way to the final. All right, Michael, you guys uh, come into this meet. What's it going to take to get Ohio State from the qualifying into that team final uh, here at the NCAA Championships? Um, it's really just going to take, you know, solid performance, everyone going out there doing their job, hitting their routines, you know. I've got confidence in, you know, my teammates to go out there and do their jobs, and I think we get that done. shouldn't be an issue. And you talk about your teammates. Uh, what has this upper class meant to these, uh, these young kids on your roster, a very, uh, very young roster for you guys? What have you guys done to maybe bring them along? Um, you know, it has been interesting. We do have, a f you know, fewer seniors than usual. But it hasn't really been so much what we've done is that the younger guys have really stepped up and kind of, you know, fought for those spots and tried to fill in those places where we needed them to. So really appreciate their effort for that. And then the pommel horse is where you do your work, and you do it very well. What's it going to take uh, for yourself to compete for maybe an All-American honor this year? Um, I think same as everyone else, just going out there, getting my job done, you know, staying in myself, confident, and, you know, trying to be clean and, Hit a routine. And how does competing in the Big Ten against so many good gymnastics programs help you guys coming into the NCAA championships? You know, it's great because it's most of the big competition that we're going to see. You know, obviously we get some more teams here. We get Stanford, Oklahoma, Cal Berkeley. But it kind of, it's the same feeling as having that, you know, six-team semifinals and finals team competition at NCAAs. So it's much better preparation. And then lastly, the, the rules have changed during the year. You went from six up five count now to five up five count. How has your team adjusted to that system? You know, we always kind of tried to plan for it a little bit. So in the gym, we were kind of trying to think about who was going to fill those five spots, who was going to be there for when it changed. And I think that actually helped us. When we transferred over, we didn't see too much of a change in our team. So good preparation from the coaches and getting ready for that.